And thanks for watching my barrels guide for one defense peers and low leveled accounts. Let's dive straight into it. Um, the requirements are real easy. You have 43 prayer, 82 plus magic, completion of desert treasures, slayer music, uh, one guide. Just use that one. And then 80 plus range. So we're just going to be basically maging four out of six of the brothers. So the gear is pretty self-explanatory as you can see. I have some prayer boosting gear. Um, those are Zamorak robes. But you can use um, monk robes as well. You're gonna need mage bonus gear such as an ancient staff, glory, fury, god book, uh, completion of horror from the deep quest, regen bracelet, uh, mithril gloves, uh, even a combat bracelet works, mage boots, god cape, mage arena mini quest. You can do mage arena too. I still haven't done that on my pure. I'm lazy. Seer's ring, preferably imbued, and then a blowpipe and Ava's accumulator for the range parts. Um, 80 plus range just rips through Arm and Carl's. Uh, so here we're gonna see the Barrows area and this is the Barrows field with the hills and the crypts. We're gonna go Order of Slaying. First we're going into Arms. Second we're going to Carl's. And third Dora. Fourth Guthin. Five Torags and six Vera. I mean you'll see some people do it differently. I like to do it this way. So for our arms, you go in and you put on protect mage and you just range them. You put on the range prayer and make sure to range potion. And then you go and do the same thing with curls right after. Just protect range and go in and range curls. Then the next one, you go to Darak, you should have uh, a few prayer points left over. So as you can see, I uh, basically just don't even have to pot almost the whole first round easily. You just protect from melee, you open up the crypt, you wait for him to come out, you hit him with uh, either blitz or you can barrage him for a bigger hit. Um, either or, they both hold him for 15 seconds and that's about 5 casts as long as you're on it and you're not missing clicks and ticks. So then after Dorok, you're gonna go into Guthins. Definitely, it's pretty fast. Um, they're really weak against Mage. I mean, even Carl's weak against Mage, but I just range him instead. However, Guthins... Horags and Varrock, you're all gonna do a similar thing. You don't even really need to pray melee as long as you're good at clicking and getting them to freeze right away. Time. So there's the freeze, and then here's one cast, two casts, three casts, four casts, and that's five casts in total, right? So the first one is one cast, the freeze, and then you have four more hits. So as you saw, I didn't directly click on him to attack him again. I waited till he moved out around the tomb, and then I clicked on him to attack him when he was already around. If you attack them while they're still behind them, your character will do this sweeping roundabout thing and actually go face to face with them. They'll be in line, in route to just get decimated by one of their attacks. So as you can see, Varrock, I don't even get a prayer potion. Um, I literally just go in zero prayer. He hits through prayer anyway. That's one of the bonuses of wearing full Varrock armor. It hits through prayer. 
Uh, so I just make sure to get the freeze right off the bat, go and kill them, and then if anything, you can eat and then pot up again. So here's one of the twists. Every crypt, every hill, it, it doesn't change. Like, they'll always be where they are. The Dorox in the furthest northeast, Dorox in the furthest northwest, etc. However, they will always alternate between the six of them who has the hidden chamber underneath and inside their tomb. And that's the one that you're going to want to go last on. So as you can see, there's these critters and NPCs crawling around in here and they are aggressive, they're aggro. So especially for one defense, you just want to stay by this ladder and get your percentage kill count up. As you can see, every time you go through a door, a new one appears. So I just go right behind the ladder and safe spot them. Don't waste prayer, I don't waste food. So you can get around 92% because every time you kill a brother, that's 8%. And depending on the level of the NPC for getting the percent of the loot drop kill count up, depending on that, you get anywhere from 4% to 7% increase in your total percentage. You're gonna need, unless you're hunting only for Barrow's items, you're gonna need 100% uh, favor or percentage of loot every time to even make a profit because the barrels items will make the profit you'll be breaking even with all of the supplies and all the runes maybe making a little bit of a profit if you're doing more Tanya uh, medium diaries and so on and so forth you can get double the runes or I believe it's hard diaries this is a pretty easy thing you just want to zoom out and you sort of see the layout there's one chamber in the middle that you want to get to and that's the one with the chest so as you can see that was the only door that I could enter that was unlocked so I'm just running 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 I get 92 percent and the brother whoever it is this one is Carl's can pop out and appear at any time any door you open they can be behind that door so I believe it's this one yep there it goes so bump prayer pot protect from range or if it's armor you protect from mage and if it's any of the other four brothers you protect from melee uh, Dorak is really tricky so you uh, want to just walk around with full HP if you have a Dorak in the, in the catacombs uh, or the underground tunnels it's really shitty crappy but um so it's easy as that, easy as pie, and so once you kill the brother, the last brother, it's 100%. I just get my uh, kill count first at the ladder, like I was showing. And it's basically an easy skating route. Uh, you just want to run through everything. You won't get damaged too uh, badly. Mind you that this is a one defense pure. So you can imagine even just having 20 or 40 defense, um, how much of a difference it'll make. And you're just gonna keep on going to basically every door that's open. Here are the clues, the or the the puzzles. And it's just a regular they're gonna look see a lot of chests like that. That was actually a decent chest with death runes and chaos runes. You'll get blood runes as well, and you'll make up a lot for you'll almost get free barraging and ice blitzing. Have fun, uh, enjoy the guide, watch it again, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what I can do, what I can change, uh, what I can improve on, what you guys might want to see in the next video, but uh, much love everyone, uh, peace out.